All right, this is uh, I don't even know what to call this. Not even podcast number one because we don't even have a name yet, and uh, we're barely starting this channel. So we'll go from there. Just kind of introduce um all my subscribers that they already know, kind of know my name. Um, but then we got Jay here. This is gonna be our our new channel now. Uh, you want to say hello? Yeah, we uh we don't know what we're gonna call this right now. According to Roy, we're gonna go with uh what was it? Unidentified uh podcast. Yeah, well you should see it on the thumbnail there. It's a uh, UPS. <laughs> I don't want to get it confused with the the doo brown suit, but uh yeah, uh, yeah unidentified uh, uh uh yeah unidentified uh podcast show for right now until we get the name. Yeah, they might give us a, a cease and desist order tomorrow or something. So it's all right. No, they don't really look at small channels. But uh, what? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, maybe now, yeah, yeah. Boy, they go, they go, my own they go fact check that now. Uh, don't yeah, fact check yeah. that, please. <laughs> don't look at these channels. No, nah, but uh, yeah, I've gone through. I've gone uh, done many things on my show. I've uh, well, not show. I had an unboxing thing on YouTube. Um, I think my channel's been around for like I don't know three four years i went from unboxings and then to the vlogging and so now we're on this transitioning to a podcast show now what what do you gotta say i've had a show for about what five years now in my head yeah that uh that i've been coming up with random ideas stuff to talk about and want to get feedback from other people who think like me don't think like me want to uh, get some different opinions going out there a bunch of different topics sports video games all kind of nerdy stuff like you see in the background with roy you'll see uh pretty soon in my background and transitioning stage moving right now yeah we'll get some uh some pretty interesting conversations going yeah i mean this and this won't just be a podcast it'll be full of random stuff like just like uh jay said um no, nah, we'll 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 do different stuff. We'll do um, you know, from the main thing is gonna be a podcast. But yeah, we'll have times where we stream, and then you know we might have some skits on here that we go out and do stuff. Might even we're gonna have a lot of paranormal stuff, so we might even actually go out and do some paranormal stuff, uh, especially yeah. with like the aliens, and then going into explaining that. Yeah, later on you guys will find out. I've actually seen the aliens before, so I know they're out there. Yeah, they well, we they don't probed him and everything already. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's, it hurts too. Yeah. No, but yeah, we'll have different different things here. We're just kind of this is an introduction podcast. We just wanted to, you know, kind of introduce ourselves and and get our names out there. Um, like I said, you kind of already know me if you're already subscribed. Hopefully, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not and you're new here. Uh, we're trying to get as many subscribers, you know, so we can get interest. You know, you can put in the comments, let us know what you guys might be interested in so we can uh, do more of that stuff. Um, like I said, we, we're going to be doing nerdy stuff on here. I mean, you can see in the back, I'm a big nerd. And then uh, Jeremy's a nerd. He just doesn't <laughs> it up yet, but uh, what, he'll get there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and as things happen, current events, we'll talk about just different stuff going on whenever the aliens do pop up on uh the news msb nbc whatever you guys watch we'll jump on here and be like i told you so i told you yeah so yeah and it's it's, it's good to have two different opinions because uh you know see jay over here tends to lean more to the opposite side of what i have to lean towards but i mean it don't matter because uh we we all have our own opinions and you know we believe in uh the the amendment so you know no harm done here we uh we're just gonna you know let y'all know what we think if you don't agree with us that's fine because you know uh not everyone has the same opinion yeah i mean not to go too far back but um what was it two years ago we met no more than that right almost almost three years right back we met we need well like 2019 was that when that store opened we used to work together yeah i would say, I would say almost about three years ago um but yeah we we met at a at a, a cellular store i'm not gonna put any names out there but uh we did sales for uh unless you guys want to pay us yeah I mean, if if one of you that knows where we worked for is watching this video, then 
yeah, you know, we don't mind uh, <laughs> getting the name out there. But as far as, yeah, we did some sales at cellular uh, cellular store. Um, so, you know, there ain't too many entities out there. I'm sure you can guess which store we worked for. Uh, but, yeah, we, we met there. And then uh, we kind of traveled along, did start doing other things. And, you know, we worked at two other places after that together. And then here we are now. So, yep, COVID hit and everything got all jacked up. Yeah, and that's the thing. So you meet somebody that's cool, you have somebody that's got your back. Roy's got my back. I got his back. You know, you got to you gotta meet people in life like that. And, and, you know, you can't just keep worrying about what people in your life are doing um, and trying to get them along with you along the path. You meet new people. What we were, you were like, what, 30 when we met? Uh. Shit, no, I think I was 29, yeah, because I'm I'm 31 now, so yeah, it's it's been a minute. Uh, yeah, it's I, think I was 32. No, I was like 34. So, and now this is like one of the only people I actually freaking talk to. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, like I said, we have our we have our differences, especially in uh, politics and stuff. But we don't we don't care about that shit. It doesn't get to us. I know a lot of people. They get ass hurt for every, any little thing you say, you know, right away. You can say, I don't like the color of your shirt and right away it's, you get offended. But nah, I mean, it shouldn't be that way. I don't think as far as a country, I don't want to get too much into politics. But if, if you know, the people weren't so much like that, then we wouldn't be as uh, split up as a country right now as we are. But, you know, it is what it is. I know a place where they get really butt hurt over the color of your shirt. You know where? She was L.A. Like Oh, so yeah. LA. yeah, I think they only allowed rainbow stuff there, though. We'll talk random stuff on here. Um, like I said, uh, we're we're mostly into like you know the universe and aliens. I'm into ghosts. I don't know about John. I don't even know if he believes in that crap. But I, you know, I've I've I experienced know. stuff. Yeah, I've experienced uh, stuff in my days. Um, you know, and we'll talk about all that stuff here. Maybe I can convince him later on that they do exist maybe we'll even go out you know one night into uh you know a cemetery is the hot spot for all that stuff so maybe we can do some exploring there one day hey, um, let's get it going on right now what's what did you experience you can't like tease people i think i was like uh what was i like 12 years old my grandma's house so she used to uh she lived in a house where nuns lived uh, back in the early 1900s, so it's, I think the house was built in 1920 or something like that. So, uh, Catholic nuns lived there, and so I guess it was just like a a little spot when the what do they call them? I guess convents where the nuns live, and so it was like a house when they were too full there. That's where the nuns would live, and so uh, I'm sure tons of nuns passed away there, and so just a little taste one day when i was when i was there i've experienced a lot of stuff but um one day i was just in, by myself uh at her house and it's a pretty small it's a three-bedroom house uh not that big i was sitting in the kit in the in the living room and i just seen this white figure go from her bedroom and stop in the middle of the hallway and at first, I didn't think nothing. I thought it was just like, I don't know, a, a, a mist or I don't even know how to explain it. But uh, it just stopped there. I didn't think nothing of it. And until it was just still there, just in the corner of my eye. So I, I turned around and it was this lady, uh, white hair, long dress all the way to the floor. And as fast as I saw her, it I mean, she disappeared. But uh, no, that's just one of several things that I've experienced there. Um, it's like I said, that's, I probably wouldn't believe it either uh, otherwise, but, um, I mean, you know, we all got to go somewhere in the afterlife, right? Hey, but the thing is, so, but why do we automatically jump to that's a ghost? I mean, what else would it be? I mean, but that's, that's the argument. So, yeah, yeah. Like, I've had a lot of like, so, you know, I've done a lot of research on supernatural type stuff and that's one thing that experts, I don't think anybody's an expert, but the experts said as far as with supernatural type things, why do we always jump to the conclusion 
whatever we see is this thing that was written about because that's one of the only things that was written about. Not saying it wasn't. Yeah. But no. And it's probably also my because of my beliefs. Um, like, you know, I know I've talked to you about this before. You're not too much like into the like church or anything like that, right? Like go no. like I'm talking about like as far as like God, Jesus and the Bible and stuff like that. And I don't yeah. like to talk about religion either because I know some people out there, you know, have their own beliefs and I have nothing against it. But no, I, the, the reason I say that, yeah, is because probably mainly because of my beliefs. You know, I, I think there is an afterlife. Um, of course, none of us know until that day comes. But um, I think that's what it leans on is my beliefs. So, you know, and some of my beliefs, is some of these go that ghosts that I think are around is because they're not getting, I guess they they still have unfinished business here on this earth that they didn't accomplish when they were alive or and so that's why they're not passing on to the next life so i that that's kind of where i'm at with this or we want to go to a more um could be explainable explanation it's going to be wild and out there too maybe the aliens are and that's like oh these people believe in this let's project this we got holograms and Maybe that's an alien hologram. I mean, yeah, I mean, who knows? But what do you talk about these things? I know, I don't know if you see them on the internet. I don't know if you think it's fake or what, what it is. Uh, but like when there's poltergeists, and they call, you know, <laughs> going to say aliens are crap off the shelves and stuff and doing all this stuff. Are we just in a simulation? Are we in the matrix? I have a very elementary understanding of it, but just different dimensions. I saw somebody explain it. I think it might have been Neil deGrasse Tyson, but he was talking about why we don't have flying cars, and he explained the dimensions and said we don't need them. That's what overpasses and different levels of the road is for. Yeah. Like, we don't need the car to fly. I kind of disagree with him, but it made sense. But he explained how something can be parallel to you and you not be able to touch it. He used that road analogy to explain it. So there could be another dimension that's really right there that we have no access to, but we'll get into it. Maybe some uh, people smarter than us will actually get on and, and watch us and, and correct us. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're hoping for is, you know, people that are out there that are known for their ideas and, uh we want a variety you know we just don't want one person's opinion because that's all we're given here is mostly opinions i mean there's facts out there uh but it's mostly just our own opinions and what we think and that's why it, what makes it even more interesting because everyone has their own thoughts um but yeah i i wouldn't mind having an expert on the show hopefully one point in time and you know let us know what they what they think and what they know and the facts that that are actually there it's kind of like, you know, like where my uh, my alter ego name, the myth Midas comes from is like myths. Like just because everybody believes something doesn't mean it's actually correct. It just means everybody has the same opinion. Um, but the myth Midas thing is just like taking that, those beliefs or whatever and just turning it in, into something better. Turn it into gold. So, gold. Yeah. You know? And say, tell the people how you became a uh, Notre Dame fan. Boy, that's a whole other thing. No, I just, I mean, that's, I don't know. It's been my whole childhood. I just grew up a Notre Dame fan. And really, to be honest, my I kind of went on that on my own because I've always been a huge sports fan. My dad was a San Francisco fan. Um, and I kind of just got on the Notre Dame train myself. I mean, like I said, my dad really didn't watch college anything. I got on to that train myself. I was always, when I was little, into sports. And um, a lot of the greats that came from Notre Dame that went to pro football um, played for San Francisco, too. So there was just a win-win a right now. You know, neither one of them. Well, Notre Dame has their times where they do good, and then they come play these teams, and, you know, they don't know what the hell they're doing afterwards. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. They look f like an amazing through the whole season, and then they get to these teams, and it's like <laughs> little league team. But uh, now they get to Alabama and then they look like little league team. Boy, what they be deflating the balls? I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't fact check me on that. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something like, uh, "No, my TV growing up, we only got NBC, so we got to watch Notre Dame play every week." Nah, hell. Actually, my uncle, uh, 
when I was little, I had a, like a North Carolina jacket. I don't even know why. Uh, but yeah, he had me a North Carolina jacket. And, but now nah, I just got into Notre Dame on my own, you know. Yeah, I know you grew up in Bama, so that's of course why. Yeah, there. and you know, most I, of my whole family was Bama fans, and but I was just kind of halfway into it. I was, I was, you know, I rooted for them, but you know, we were on, I think, probation and stuff when when I really started to follow it, and I was like, "Are you sure we were good?" You know, because we were sucking for a while, before, you know, until that probation came off, but. I got more into all the shit and stuff when I got out of school and got in the workforce because, you know, you start meeting people with different um, loyalties to different teams that get to you. And uh, you start to feel a little bit more pride about it. Like, oh, I can't wait till my team plays their team. like, you know, yeah. Ohio fans and, and all of that. And then you just kind of get your trenches built and, you know, you get a team that you would for life. Yeah, that's that's one thing. College definitely is uh, more exciting than the NFL. At least in my opinion, it is. Like when college game days there, man, it's it's crunk. Yeah, it's not the same with the NFL. No, um, not to say I don't get excited watching the games, but I can miss in some NFL games. But when it's Saturday and it's college game day, I'm stuck in front of the TV all all day. I can't I I can't say the same for the NFL. I I think. I don't know anybody that's just all the way a huge fan of both of them, you know, all the time. I think the thing is, we got to have one day during the weekend to actually <laughs> or chill out. We can't, like, spend the whole day, both days, watching football. Yeah. We might do it, but we're not going to be as emotionally invested both whole days. So, I think that's how people either get to college or NFL, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, tell that to my dad, because, like I said, he when I was, when I was growing up, he... You know, I got into college ball on my own, and I got him into it, and so now he's like mm-hmm. all in. But no, I can't do that. I just, if I'm gonna watch a game, it's gonna be the teams I like on NFL, and yeah. it's mostly only my team. And if they're already down, you know, San Fran hasn't been doing too well these these past these past times. I mean, the last time they did decent was when they had Kaepernick, and I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, all pro sports, I kind of just end up following uh, players. Like, I might, if I tend to like more players on a certain team, then I might root for that team that year. But, and I don't care. People can say, oh, you're a bandwagon, whatever. You got some stupid ass reason you root for your team, too. It's whatever. You flip flop when whatever the star goes to another team. Like, oh, well, I'm a, like, the NBA people, like, I'm a LeBron fan, so they've been a Cavaliers fan, a Lakers fan, a damn Miami Heat fan. Yeah. So it's like, whatever. We're just rambling about different stuff. Went from introducing ourselves, talking about, you know, how we were going to talk about the paranormal aliens and, you know, the unknown. And we just went from that to sports, to video games. But, yeah, we'll we'll have a variety of stuff on here and, Hopefully, you know, we'll pick up a lot of audiences that will that will enjoy the content. Yeah, and then find out a lot of other um, people with similar interests, too, and, you know, with good content, we can kind of check out. Cause we like checking out different channels and, and learning about different topics, too. So, yeah, I'm, out there? yeah definitely, uh, you know, I check out podcasts like I'm sure everyone knows about the Joe uh, Rogan show, you know, his podcast. Um, you know, he, he different, definitely influences me. Cause I mean, I, a lot of his stuff is interesting. You know, I didn't even think about, you know, just the other day I was telling Jay here that, you know, he was talking about aliens and I was like, that's what we would say we were going to talk about. He was talking with post Malone, you know, having a beer with post Malone smoking and then, you know, talking about aliens, you know, that's, we, we just want to be a laid back podcast just like that. And then not only that, you know, like I said, we're going to go out, hopefully do some skits. Hopefully things don't get too bad in the world again. Like, you know, they say is getting, oh, we got all these type variants, whatever coming out. We we got to be locked down again. No, I'm not down with that. You know, I'm tired of hearing that stuff. Uh, I want to be out. And, I mean, this stuff ain't going to go away. So it is what it is. What do you know? So are you kind of like me? So me and uh, my cousin were talking the other day. He just asked me. Like, how do you feel about, you know, people talking, warning you about all these variants now and sending all these messages? 
And I told him, I said, look, I might sound bad, but I already got my damn shot. Yeah. I wear my mask if I'm required to do it wherever. I'm not going to sit there and argue about it, even though I hate wearing them. Yeah. Uh, now, the main thing, I hate wearing them at work for eight hours straight, but I'm not going to keep sitting here forwarding shit, looking at the news every two seconds, like, oh, did it mutate? Did it, does it have X-Men powers now or, or you know, yeah. whatever? It's, I'm just kind of mentally done with it. I, yeah, see, it's, it's nuts out there. Yeah, I won't even get into that because you, you already done better than me. You've gotten the shot. See, I don't even care to get that shot I, I had no doubt i mean like nothing in my mind is telling me you know i need to go get that shot um you know just like the flu the flu is still there i mean it's not flu season right now but of course it's come and gone since we got all these variants of whatever you want to call it I'm not even going to get into where it came from or anything either but uh yeah i mean i didn't even get the flu shot and i i'm not I'm not saying I'm against vaccines. No, I, you know, I have kids and they get their vaccines. I'm, I'm all for vaccines, you know, do what you want with, with you. But for me, you know, I'm not, in, I don't care. You know, I, I've, I had COVID. Um, at least I think I did. I tested negative, but then I got really sick after I tested and uh, I'm pretty positive I had it. And I just, you know, I don't think I need it. You know, yeah. you can look at all the statistics out there, but the survival rate on that is probably better than the flu. Like I said, probably better is, you know, uh, you can look at, look at the statistics yourself, but that, that's now, some of the, some of the stuff. I mean, like I said, I'm not, I don't claim to be right. It's just as far as what I looked at and kind of have been influenced to think, I think a lot of what them, trying to get everybody to take it is is just because you're less likely to um spread it if you're not you know if you don't get super sick which you already had it so hopefully your antibodies and whatever is good but well here's so. my thing so i don't know how it is where in the part you live in but over here where i live you can kind of tell what it is because not there's hardly anyone with mask anymore so, but if you go to the, if I go to the gym and there's like a couple of people that are still wearing a mask, my thing is these mother are touching the like this down and it's like, what's, what, what's the point? You know, you touching all these weights and shit and half the guys that I go, you know, that go into the locker room, go into the locker room, take a piss dangle their thing you know do whatever they got to do and they come right back out so they going back out there to touch the weights so that's my thing like why why even wear a mask you know now it's not it's not supposed to survive on surfaces either the way we thought initially i think um, no no no. but what i'm saying is like these these people you know if they nasty and then they you hear the toilet flush and then the door starts right open, open. And they go right back out it's like like um uh, did you even sp put water, a drip of water on your hands or yeah. anything? You're like yeah. thinking, what for? Yeah. Like, don't touch nothing I got. <laughs> yeah. And it goes the same way for females. So we ain't just talking about males because I know some yeah. nasty ass females out there that I remember back in the day uh, when we had to go into changing the female locker room uh, when I was in high school when something was wrong with the male locker room. Boy, that locker room stunk like ass. If I had ever and and tuna, <laughs> boy, females females are not clean. Um, yeah, for the most part. In my I'm opinion, say, I'm not gonna say for the most part. Okay, in my in my opinion, just, just as dirty as men, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, because you know females usually tend to say, "Oh, males are fucking nasty and do all." It's like, man, you better check your gender. Cause yeah, yeah. Cause I know some dudes that are like, if you, you, like I want to punch them in the face, they're so, such a neat freak, you know. Yeah. But I know some females who are the exact opposite. Like you don't want to even visit their house. Yeah. I mean, so getting to my point, if you're sick, don't don't go out and fucking hands. And I mean. 
there be less of this going around. That's all. That's all there is to it. I mean, wash your hands, stay at home if you're sick. In my opinion, and, that's all you got to do. And this is my PSA: if you are, I don't care if you want to wear your mask or if you don't wear your mask. Quit yeah. looking to start fights as soon as you walk into any place in public. You want to go in a store, like oh, you know, the CDC says I don't have to wear it now, or you know, CDC says. It's coming back, so I don't know why you guys don't all require it. You know Whatever. what gets me? So, it already sucks enough when you have to wear a mask, especially if you have to work eight hours a day or, you know, g just go in somewhere to get groceries or whatever. But when you see someone rolling in the car by themselves with the fucking mask, boy, that just makes me i'm like you about to give yourself COVID or what you about to cough on that windshield's gonna bounce right back up and you now see sometimes though so because i'm guilty <laughs> of this i'll just forget i got it on because oh, you wore it so damn long i don't know yes i don't think you know i don't know when i did wear a mask because i haven't worn mask and shit what forever but when i did shit as soon as i got out of anywhere i took that crap off but i mean yeah i mean i can understand sometimes you forget but the amount of people i see man doing this it's like are they are they really that scared Just go put yourself in the house build a bubble around you and stay at home don't even go out now, like what if you just so happen to be seeing uber drivers about to pick up their people boy or just dropped off uh, somebody see you gotta think sometimes uh, See, that's my thing, too. Uber shouldn't have be, be forcing that onto people either. I mean, I've had to take Uber a couple of times. See, the first time I took an Uber is when I got my Tesla and I had to, had to get a ride back home. And uh, I was wearing a mask. I mean, I'm sorry, I wasn't wearing a mask. And it asks you on the app. I don't know if you've taken an Uber lately, but it asks you the only way that they can pick you up is if you click on that and say, I'm, I have a mask I'm wearing. I, I'm going to wear a mask. Yeah. So I just hit yes. I don't give a f I mean, is the driver really going to be man enough to tell me to put on a mask? So the last time I took a Uber was because I had to park my my old car that I have in a different location because I didn't have a place to park it. And I had to Uber back to my car that I am driving. And I had to just, like you said, hit the thing. Yes, I have a mask or whatever. I found some shirt that had been sitting in my car forever. And I kind of had COVID helped. all over it, boy. Put uh, that shit on your. When I got in the car, he, I was like, um, I don't have a mask, but I have this, you know, this shirt. But he's like, well, I don't have a mask either. So like, he didn't even have one in his car. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know. So they're the drivers aren't all, you know, holding you to that. It's just, I think Uber may be doing that so the drivers, if they don't feel comfortable or they do feel at risk, they don't have to seem like they're the ones singled out. Now, I have my own, and they're out there, conspiracies of why they're pushing this shot so hard. And I'm sure you've seen crap. I don't know if you believe it or if you just like, you know, it's just people saying what they're going to say. But if you see, I don't know if you watched any of the news lately. I don't really watch it, but I, like I said, I stick to social media and keep, I mean, touch base on all these subjects. But they are pushing this shot so hard boy they're giving away i don't know if you saw there was an article the other day that i said they're giving away teenagers airpods to get the shot and then of course they were offering hundred dollars to go get the shot in some states and then um i think here where we live uh somewhere close to you there was a restaurant and of course they get like i think they get government funding or something they were offering free meals if you went up there to get the shot, they would give you a free meal. Now, there's, I'm not going to get into it, but in my head, there's some, some conspiracies behind it. Um, I don't know if you've seen that they're injecting, like, supposedly, I'm not saying this is true at all, so don't fact check me, that they're injecting stuff into that shot to keep track of you. Mm, no. It, anything's possible, right? Anything is possible. You gotta, but keep mind, just, you gotta keep your mind open. We can't say they no. Don't, they don't even need to do that though. Our phones tell exactly where we went already. All right. They, they already know everything. They can sit there and watch 
they can see an ant taking a shit on a leaf. Remember, we said we were talking. We and one in one show we'll talk about this too about robots taking over. What about human robots? Them controlling you, boy, without you even knowing. You ever think about that? Where they, they that to. whatever they injected into you is a mind control thing. Turn everyone into zombies. No, because I'm still as stupid as I was before I got the shot. So that uh, doesn't mean they turned it on and it, it hasn't clicked in your brain yet. But I. So mean, how? Why so are they forcing it, it so hard? Tell me this. So my so my opinion on that, which I don't even think of. I mean, it's I feel I'm right, but. They really, because this is the United States of America, and mm-hmm. we want to give people the right to do what they want to do with their bodies. But at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, yes, we want to give them the right, but this is so important that if people don't do it, which it seems like they're not doing it, we have to give them incentives like, I don't want to force you to do it, kind of like, a kid you know you don't want to whoop them so i'm gonna try to do the positive reinforcement thing but i'm gonna have to get the belt in a minute you know and so that's kind of how i look at it but again leaning back to the amendments this is a free that's why it's the u.s is the greatest country on earth on our planet in our universe because of all the rights we have right because if you go to another country they will they there's they're ran some countries are ran by tyrants you know where they they'll go to your door put a gun to your head and put that in you you know that's why i'm so you know proud to live where i live because we don't have that here but in my opinion it could get to that eventually and i was telling you this the other day they're they're building tents over here and supposedly it's covid patient tents or whatever that there's a you know since there's another outbreak of um of covid and all these other variants that they're building these tents and that the hospitals are getting full again but okay so but none but let me tell you why the whole chip thing doesn't make sense so if other, other conspiracies out, conspiracies out there are china started the virus uh, or it came from China. We, you know, we know that that's what it was, China. right? Though, yeah, it was developed it, it, in it, Wuhan. It from China for sure. In Wuhan, yeah, yeah. Now, but as far as them making it or just being a random version of some other COVID, because COVID, we just now have COVID in our vocabulary. The normal layman person, yeah, it's been around forever. Every, but yeah, every, every, um, I think our. Every type of cold virus is, is like a coronavirus or a, or something or COVID because this is like COVID nineteen. There's other ones. So was the United States just waiting around? Oh, because this is not just the United States where this shot is being administered. The same shot oh, yeah, is yeah. being administered in every country. Yeah, yeah. So why is it that oh, this United States is the ones that's putting microchips in here because they want us to be odd. Uh, these or whatever like i said it, it it could most definitely be the whole it's world true. but let me ask you this why did microsoft have anything to do with it then and so, microsoft has these chips that are possible so, doing this now microsoft and is it microsoft or is it just are you talking about bill gates being a big um big person in the media talking about getting the vaccine no no so microsoft actually I don't want to say endorsed the damn shot, but basically, and they had a part to, to something to do with the shot. And like I said, there's articles out there. You can, you can look them up and read them. And they even go into depth about talking. Eve, they did not deny these chips, you know, unless you're already, you know, a mind control zombie and I can't talk to you about this situation no more. Let's, let's look at their credibility. Then it'll be me on my own. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, like I said, uh, you know, I'm pro for whatever you want to do. Like, not just you. I'm talking about everyone in general. Yeah. But that comes the same way for everyone else. They shouldn't be wanting to push stuff on other people, you know. But that's so you got to look at the other side of that, too, though. So if me and you are in a five-foot jail cell and 
there's Ebola, and somebody's like, here, you gotta take this Ebola shot, because everybody in the fucking prison is getting Ebola, so if you take this, and don't go around anybody for two days, you'll you'll get it, or you won't get it. And you're like, fuck this, you know, I'm not getting that damn shot, I'm like, um, either get this out of my cell, or make him get this damn shot, or I'm gonna shake him, because I don't want that shit. And so but, that's kind of why people are forcing. But it you got they, the it, shot, right? I got no, it. No, no, I'm, I'm in in hypothetical terms. Like we in prison, oh, the yeah, Ebola's yeah. going around. You got yeah. the shot, right? So you yeah. should be good. <laughs> got he? <laughs> got he? Yeah, but the, technically, vaccine, you should be good. It, it was probably, <laughs> probably in what I just said. Yeah, because I spoke in such absolutes. But the way vaccines work, they they keep they make you uh, less likely to yeah. get it. Yeah, and, you should be good though. And, and I, now, and I'm sure also with with all this, shit, if if I just got like one or two little COVID viruses in me or whatever, my body may have an easier shot of just kicking that shit out before it multiplies too much. But if I just go and and let somebody blow their whole spit in my mouth that has COVID or something, and it's got trillions of covid viruses i'm pretty sure that'll multiply my body way faster than the two so it's kind of like calculated risk is what i'm saying all you got to do is stay away from me though but you got the shot we're in a five foot cell though and i and i want to go out and, and if you me. shake me you're gonna get my blood all up in you anyway so you're still gonna uh, die <laughs> you're still gonna we'll die. talk about some controversial stuff transgender people in sports yeah I mean, not, not, I have a lot to say about that. I'm not even going to start on this because I can go on for I can go on for another. Well, we've been I at was, this for 46 minutes now. I was surprised they actually. I think it was it. I think it was you that told me that they actually were competing um, this time and like weightlifting even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's there. From what I understand, the person that did it was not very competitive um against the field but um yeah. still that's kind of a slippery slope to me in my eyes in my opinion i'm always gonna see it like it shouldn't be allowed that's i'm just gonna cut it right there because that's i just don't think it's right uh a man can genetically never be a woman and a woman can genetically never be a, a male and and somebody else kind of put it to um where somebody was saying transgender people don't have a place to compete and it was pointed out yes they do the men's side because even women can come and compete against the men in certain things you know like the nba for instance there's a lot of women who talk about you know maybe one day somebody being the first woman in actual men's nba but that's why it's not called men's nba it's called nba yeah if you're if you're good enough to compete against them you know, all the power to you go there. But I'm going to look down on a man that goes and knows that just, I mean, let's be real. Men, in most cases, on average, not every man is more athletic than a woman. But on average, men are going to be faster and stronger. Now, you can look at Simone Biles. She's athletic. It's strong. It's yeah. It's now, the facts. Now, there's certain athletic <laughs> that women can do that men can't do. Like, I, there's not a man in this world that can even come close to what Simone Biles does in gymnastics. But in sports that you're all you're doing is competing against, you know, whether you're stronger, faster, something like that, most of the time the man is going to win. So I'm going to look down on you if you just go compete against women to win. Yeah. Yeah. No. And like I said, it, it, I'm all for it. They whatever they want to do in their life. That's yeah. not my decision. That's nobody's decision. That's them. I'm going to go ahead and end this podcast here. Like I said we've been going here for 50 minutes now. Um, we're not going to go, like I said, we're not going to label this podcast. It was just the introduction just to give y'all a taste of what this, you know, what's going to be on this show. Um, and what's the, what the future is. And, uh, like I said, we'll have, we still have to come up with the name and, um, we'll go from there. But, uh, thank you for joining. If you watched, um, is Roy out. Appreciate it, everybody. Jay, I'll let you. Yeah. Uh, join us for the next interesting podcast. Uh, Probably, what do you think? Something political or uh, paranormal? PP. Okay. PP, we'll end it there. Uh, thank you for watching.